divorce recovery workshop, our refugee resettlement ministry, the new open air market on Monument Avenue. All of these are ways that we are reaching beyond the walls of this church to touch the city of Richmond, to love our neighbors as much as we love ourselves. And I think we're doing well. But I don't think there is any church or any church member who would say that we are finished, that we have somehow met our quota. God has given to us in such abundance that when we compare what we give back with what he has given, it always seems very small. Last Wednesday, I took a windshield tour of the Church Hill community, driving around with some others to look at that neighborhood and those housing projects. And by the time we got finished, I was feeling guilty for how much I have and for where I live. It didn't seem right, didn't seem fair that I should have what I have and live where I live when other people didn't have nearly as much and had to live there. I had been studying this passage from Isaiah just that morning where God says that the fruit that he wants from his people is justice and righteousness. Well, I thought he's not getting much of that from me. And then I thought about us about the way we gather in this beautiful sanctuary at the corner of Monument and the Boulevard, this, this perfect place where we meet from Sunday to Sunday and through the week. I thought about that vineyard Isaiah talks about, the one that God did so much work on, digging it, clearing it of its stones, planting it with choice vines, building a watchtower in the center of it, and cutting a wine press out of solid rock thought about how God said afterwards, is there anything more I could have done for my vineyard than I did? And how he might say about us, is there anything more I could have done for First Baptist Richmond than what I have done? God has given us everything we need to be abundantly fruitful. And to the extent that we are anything less than that, we have failed to meet God's expectations. So how do we do it? How do we bear all the fruit a vineyard like this can bear? Well, because we are New Testament people, we look to Jesus. And what Jesus says is this in John 15, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Abide in me. Bear much fruit. How do we do that? We keep ourselves connected to Jesus, the vine, so that the sap of justice and righteousness flows from him into us and produces the kind of fruit God is looking for. Because Jesus has so much justice and righteousness to share, the fruit will come in abundance. It will fill up the vineyard of First Baptist Church and spill over the walls, out into the neighborhood until soon. Justice and righteousness are everywhere. And if we stay connected to the vine, if we can just stay connected to Jesus, the vine, then the fruit of justice and righteousness may be found as far away from this corner as Church Hill and even beyond there. When that day comes, Jesus will say, well done, good and faithful branches. You didn't stop when you got enough for yourselves. You just kept on abiding until the fruit of justice and righteousness was everywhere until God's kingdom had come and God's will was done on earth as it is in heaven. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, keep us connected to you. Let the sap of justice and righteousness flow through the true vine to all these branches so that we may bear the kind of fruit that makes God's heart glad. You know what you need. 
You know what you need from us. You know how to give us what we need. We simply pray that you would do it. That we would be open to receive from you all that you want to give. That we would give back to you the love that you have shared. And find that we have enough left over to share with the world. Lord Jesus, be the true vine in this vineyard. Dear God, be the kind of gardener who provokes us to growth and maturity that will produce good fruit. For we ask it in your name. Amen.